Let's take a peek at a rough real person budget that was submitted to us recently. This is a budget for August. You can see that the income for this person was about $5,000. And let's go ahead and see how they budgeted that out. So they were going to give $500 to their parish. They're contributing to retirement. They're saving for car maintenance, vehicle maintenance, vacation. Up here, you can see kind of some of those fixed monthly expenses that they have, you know, utilities, their cell phone. This was a little bit of a higher cost of living area, so rent was a little bit higher. They had groceries, clothing, and pets. And you can see the grand total here was the income of $5,000. What they had budgeted was $4,900, leaving them only with an extra $100 for any other surprise things that might come up in their budget. And this is exactly the moment when most people will end up turning to credit cards. But let me tell you about something better to do. Budgeting has never been easier and our very favorite way of tracking our spending and using our budget is with a tool called YNAB. It stands for You Need a Budget. What I love about it is that it is a seamless app that you can use on your phone, you can use it on your computer, and if you're married, you can use it between spouses. It's as simple as plugging in the income that you have coming in, allocating that money throughout the different expenses you have through the month, and then when you spend that money, going in, entering it, and then it automatically updates the amount available.